We'll go ahead and talk about uh, bell work week 13, day four here. Um, again, this is talking about how all objects in the universe have gravity, but every object's gravitational force is different depending upon its mass. So um, this is kind of talking about how when we mentioned that um, weight and mass are different because your weight can change depending upon location, but your mass or the amount of matter that is in an object stays the same. <clears throat> this is what we are reading about and observing in today's science bell work. So if we look at uh, part A, it says the chart below shows approximately how much a 150-pound person on Earth would weigh on each planet in our solar system. Use the chart to answer the questions. And as you see, it varies from planet to planet. You know, we have all the way up to 381 pounds down to 57 pounds, okay? So on the first question, it says, on which planet would you weigh the closest to what you weigh on Earth? So on Earth, it's 150 pounds. So we're looking for the next closest weight to 150 pounds. And I would say that that would be Saturn because Saturn is 140 pounds and that looks to be the next closest without going over 150 pounds. So I would say Saturn for number one right here. Uh, number two, which planet exerts the strongest gravitational force? So that means on which planet would you weigh the most? And I think that would obviously be Jupiter right here at 381 pounds. So number two, you would put Jupiter. Uh, number three, on which two planets is gravity the weakest? So where would you weigh the less or the least amount? Um, I would say that would be Mars and Mercury, considering 57 pounds looks to be the smallest weight here on this chart. So you would put Mercury and Mars right there. All right, so make sure you guys use that chart to help you guys respond to questions one, two, and three. Uh, part B, which of the following statements are true? Check all that apply. So first statement, the size of an object determines how much mass it has. Not necessarily. Okay? Just because the object is larger doesn't mean that it has more mass. Because um, remember we talked about the bowling ball and the basketball. Bowling ball has more mass even though it's not as size-wise. It's not as large as a basketball. Okay? But we know that the bowling ball does have more mass. Sorry about that. Um, second statement, an object's mass determines its gravitational force. Well, we know that that is true because the more mass, the more gravitational force an object has, so you would check off on that second statement. Uh, third statement, the farther a planet is from the sun, the less gravity the planet has. Even though distance does play in gravitational force, it's not necessarily distance from the sun. It's more or less distance in general. So that third statement would not be accurate. Uh, the fourth statement, the gravitational force of Phobos is weaker than the gravitational force of a neutron star. And we can pull that from the reading here in the second paragraph. And if you read, you guys know that that should be accurate or true, so you would check off on that last statement as well. So for B, you would check off on the second and fourth statements. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions while working, make sure you reach out to me. Also, make sure you have your science bell work uploaded to your science bell work note for the week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.